All right, you know I purchased a Bark River Bravo one, and the number one complaint of these knives is the sheath that comes with it. It's a Kydex sheath, hangs really high, and not only that, it is secure, but it scratches up your knife too, which I don't think is pretty cool. If I'm gonna scratch up my knife, I wanna scratch it up when I'm using it, not when I'm placing it in the sheath. It's supposed to protect it. Um, and also, it is very clackly, very plasticky sound when I'm out in the mountains, when I'm hiking around and I'm trying to relax out there, I don't want to be hearing this. I don't want to, I don't want to hear that. It's garbage to me. I prefer a leather sheath. I'm out in the wild, I want to hear the birds, I want to hear the animals, and I don't want to be hearing my equipment making noise. I don't, I don't need this. So I was in the market for a, a sheath. And there's a lot of sheaths out here for this particular knife. You have the sharpshooter sheath, you have, uh, you have a few others, but I wanted a custom made sheath. So I went on Blade Forums and I started doing some research and also AAPK, which is all about pocket knives. And uh, I found out that most custom made sheaths are in the above the $100, $100 range, excuse me. And that made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. It makes me feel uncomfortable paying $100 for a sheath when I barely paid that much for the knife itself. Um, but then I came across uh, Rob. And his leather company is RMB Custom Leather. And if you look over to the right hand of your screen, I'm going to have a link to his, um, his page. He makes all kinds of stuff. He makes... Uh, gun sheaths, um, all kinds of stuff, little purses, belts, and also stuff for uh, knives. And so I contacted him. He made a few suggestions of types of sheaths that I, I should get um, or what would what would work best for the Bravo one. And he, he recommended a, this type of sheath system due to the fact of the, the handle size and the shape of the handle. Um, would this type of sheath probably worked better for, for securing my knife? Yes, it would. But I don't like this type of sheath. Um, so what I did is I gave him some direction on what I wanted. Um, I also picked out these logos, which is a scorpion and a dog print. And he stamped those on there for me. I gave him some direction on what I wanted, um, how it secured. I wanted this type of sheath. I also wanted... Um, something that would be close to my body, not like one of these type securing systems, which I do not like. I do not like the looseness of, of this type. And I didn't want something really small like the old style sheath, because nowadays we wear two inch hunting belts or tactical belts, and this fits absolutely perfect with a little room to spare. Um, fits very nicely against my body. I'll, I'll model this for you at the end of the video. But the craftsmanship is incredible. Um, the quality of the leather is incredible. The stitching is beautiful. Now does this have the fit and finish of uh, a $200 sheath? I'm going to say no. Um, does it have the fit and finish of a $100 sheath? Yes. Um, but I didn't pay that. I paid half that. Uh, fantastic deal. Very thick leather. He stains it himself. Um, I wanted something where, you know, maybe I could secure it to my leg. He accommodated that for me. It also came with a uh, piece of leather string for securing it. Um, now, if I was going to say everything went perfect, I sent my knife to him. He worked with me. I talked to him on the telephone. Uh, his goal, his customer service, and his communication is outstanding. He really wanted me to be happy with this knife. Now, is everything perfect? I'm going to say no. Okay? One issue I did have is that it was a little bit loose when it went inside the... Uh, sheath. And 
this is an extremely thick blade. Um, I can see how that might be a tricky fit. I, I fixed that though. I had a leftover piece of uh, leather which is round and I stuck it in there and it's permanently in there. It fits absolutely perfect. Um, so I have an extremely beautiful snug fit now. I'm very happy with that. Very happy it slides in and out very easily. Um, now, now the other issue would be something that would not be an issue with a normal knife and that's due to the fact the Bravo 1 is extremely sharp and it's having a tendency to cut in to this strap. I've had other knives with this type of strapping system and I've never had an issue with it cutting it. I also have another knife that fits in here and it will not cut this. But the Bravo 1 is very, very sharp and that convex edge is having a tendency to cut this strap right here. Now I've got a fix for that and I'm going to take a piece of bungee and go through this loop through here so when I unbuckle this it's going to pop all the way open. So basically it's going to be like spring loaded. It's going to look really nice when I get done. But his craftsmanship is beautiful. I told him what color I wanted, all that. Man this looks nice. It is great. Fantastic. Is it better than something that you get with knives in the shop? Yeah! Look at this garbage compared to this. The leather's thick, stained beautifully. You know? It's got my own custom feel and look. I'm digging it. I'm digging his work. You go on his website, he's got all kinds of cool stuff too. Um, He's got some really cool stuff. You can pick what, what types of stamps you want. You can customize it that way. So, highly recommend this purchase. Highly recommend that you contact him and see if that he can accommodate whatever, whatever leather work that you've got. His stitching is beautiful. And the quality of his leather is beautiful. I recommend that you take his advice if he says, hey, I think we should go in this direction. I was a little bit stubborn, so maybe the issues that I have are due to my uh, my input. Um, but that's you know that's life. It's nothing that I can't fix myself, and it just makes this uh, sheath even more customized to my liking. So I'm very happy with this purchase, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll model this out for you so you can see how it hangs on my belt. All right, folks. Um, so this is a, I'm going to have a comparison here, and this is why I prefer this type of sheath, due to the fact that it is very close to the body. The body of the knife is very close also. These sheaths tend to move around a lot, and I don't like that. I also find it somewhat difficult and nerve-wracking that I could possibly stab myself. Now. Granted, well now I can't reach it because I am right-handed and I can't move my right hand very much. But this fits very nicely. And it really slides in there nice and it's very secure. It, I can twist and turn very nicely. You know, it hangs nice against the body. It doesn't tend to stick out like this type. Um, and it doesn't wave around doesn't get hung up on trees. Um, it just really hugs the body nicely. Even, you know, even something like this tends to wave out a lot, and I don't like that. So this is why I designed it the way I did. And uh, that's about it. That's how it looks. You see from the front, from the back. It's real nice. A real nice control. It'll be nice when I when I make that upgrade and have that spring back, and I'll have access to that knife very easily. All right, highly recommend it. Look to the right of your screen and go to his webpage. Check out some of his work.